with praying praying this morning father god i come to your throne in jesus name i pray for each one of us oh lord god as we are going to uh, speak the word as we are going to sharing the word and as we are going to listen your word father you bless us oh lord god and help us to understand help us to understand the things of father god oh father as we are going to start our day so lord help us so we can understand what you have for us today oh lord god and thank you lord god for the people who join me oh lord god you bless them also lord god help them to understand <clears throat> the revelation of your word oh father i speak the blessing upon each one of us oh father god thank you lord god for that thank you lord jesus that you are always with us your hand is upon us thank you so much for that oh sahan de be aso bra la kha mi en de bre si ala mas toro mamande thank you father thank you jesus thank you lord that you are always with us we are not alone thank you lord we are not alone you are with us and thank you lord god that you are faithful you are faithful to provide all our needs you are faithful to do whatever we want thank you lord god whatever you have promised you are faithful to provide that thank you lord god for that uh our faithfulness oh lord god and thank you lord god for for today oh father i speak the blessing upon each one of us in jesus name we pray amen 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 hallelujah as i told you that the every morning 7 o'clock i come with the the devotion messages to just to encourage one another and it's really help me also to know what the word of god says this morning i wake up i, I just i walked and i i prayed uh, and i read the word and it it's really really helped me and it's really blessed me also to start my day with prayer and reading the word and i'm really excited to be here in this platform and this morning that when when i was just praying and i was reading the god spoke something to me which i'm going to share with you today and as as we we were from last few weeks we we were looking about the hand of god and i told you this hand of god is not the simple hand the hand which is above us is powerful hand every single person has to understand that god whom we serve is not the ordinary is not the simple the hand which is above us is powerful and we were looking again and again that the book of isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 that bible says fear not i am with you don't look here and there i am your god and i will i will strengthen you and i will uphold you with my righteous right hand so that's the promise of jesus that's the promise and god never leaves us he says fear not even in this pandemic situation many time people when they don't know the word of god they don't know the promise of god they don't understand what god has promised to you and me and the people are disappointed people are discouraged by seeing all kind of uh, the the all kind of the situation all kind of problem and they are come they are always thinking why god is doing all those kind of things and they think that they are alone they think that nobody is there to help but that's not the bible says the bible says fear not i am with you it says fear not i am with you don't look here and there i am your god so we have to believe that we have to believe that god is always with us we have to believe even if we don't feel i always say even if you don't feel but still god is with you god is for you god is for me so it's clearly says fear not i am with you don't look here and there i am your god i will strengthen you he says i will strengthen you in the time of weakness god will strengthen us and his promise says the last line says i will uphold you with my righteous right hand he says i will uphold you with my righteous right hand so his promises are yes and amen so we have to start our day by knowing that god is with us and he is upholding our life is upholding our family he is upholding our our ministry our business our work with his righteous right hand so every situation god is able to handle that's the promise that's the promise that's the promise of jesus so you and i we always have to look what the bible says there is nothing there is no doubt because always the bible so whatever the bible says whatever the word of god says is powerful 
it's powerful so today just as i say this is the devotion masses you know when when i was reading the book of the second the samuel the chapter 19 and, and, and there are many many promises many things the god was talking and here the king was saying the 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 the, the second samuel chapter 19 verse 38 it's talking about the last line is talking about like thing anything you desire he says anything you desire from me i will do it amen listen carefully it says anything you desire from me i will do it so what a wonderful promise we have god says the word of god says anything he says anything you desire from me i will do it what do you think about that what is the what do you think about those verses ekatai je pani tapai le mo singa ichha garnu huncha mo garchu whatever jo bhi aap चाहते हैं कि मैं आपके लिए तुम्हारे लिए करूं मैं करूंगा इस सेंस वो एनीथिंग इस इस एनीथिंग यू नो एनीथिंग मींस एनीथिंग अमें हालेलुया इट डेन टॉक अबाउट द बैड थिंग इस टॉक अवर गुड थिंग इस सेंस एनीथिंग यू डिजायर फ्रॉम मी आई विल डू इट सो आई एम एक्साइटेड आई आई एम एक्साइटेड टू स्टार that my god is telling me whatever you desire i will do it amen hallelujah i'm excited when i was praying this morning and i was praying and praying and praying and this word when it came in my mind i looked this word says it says anything you desire from me i will do it so i'm i'm really excited i'm really i'm telling you i am excited i'm i'm really happy i'm really blessed because the bible says it clearly says in the second samuel chapter 19 verse 38 it says anything you desire from me i will do it so that's the promise that's the promise god's hand which is above you the god who is with you and with me is telling you today is asking you today he says i he says anything you desire anything you desire from me whatever you desire god from god whatever you desire god will do for you he says i will do it amen so aju tapai ko chahana ke cha tapai ko yo biyani tapai le ke chahanu huncha ki parmeshwar tapai ko lagi garos the bible says i will do it so i am happy to know that i am excited to know that my god whom i serve my god whose hand is above me he is telling me anything you desire anything you desire amen he says anything you desire from me i will do it is talking about he says from me is not talking about the people is not talking about the family he not talking about the husband and wife or the children or he, he doesn't talks about the any other uh, from any other person that's why the bible says the isaiah the second line what this is don't look here and there i am your god he says eta uta no hernu mo timar ko parmeshwar ho don't look here and there i am your god so here the bible says anything you desire from me anything you desire from me i will do it so that's the revelation that's the word of god that's the promise you should desire from god not from men not from like any other person not from like the worldly thing from the worldly person because worldly persons are fail but the bible says anything you desire from me that words listen very carefully tyo bachan lai dhyan dera hernu as bhancha je pani timaru mo singa chahana garchau mo pura garchu hallelujah so today tell god what you desire ask god what you desire whatever your desire is tapai je chahanu huncha aap jo chahte hain aapko jo zarurat hai parmeshwar se mangiye bible kehta hai jo kuch bhi je pani anything you desire from me means from god 
anything you desire from God. He says, I will do it. Hallelujah. So that's the promise. So stay. What a wonderful God we have. The last few days we were looking that we are not alone. God is always with us. He's carrying us. Amen. As the father carry the son. Then we again we saw that God is faithful. Amen. The God is faithful to fulfill his promises. So remember those things. I'm really happy to know. I ask God when, when I look the verses, when I read these verses this morning, I told my wife also to read these verses and she read for me and then and she read for herself also. Then I, 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 I says God, God, God said anything you desire from me, I will do it. So I ask God what I desire, I told. What I desire, I told God. Amen. We were talking this morning, me and my wife, uh, and we have one desire. My wife has desire. Me have one desire, and and, and only those desire it will fulfill by God. Your desire, say, khali permission, but I pura onto saksa. So we told. I told her. I told her by this time. So what I mean to tell you, more permission, singa mange. Mero desire by knowing this morning that God says anything you desire from me, I will do it. So I told God, and I know Bible says His promises, I will do it. Amen. So tell with me. Hallelujah. God is asking you today. He said, Anything you desire from me. आज जो परमेश्वर तपाईको माथि छ जो परमेश्वरको हात तपाईको माथि छ जो परमेश्वरको हात आपके ऊपर में है वो आपसे पूछ रहा है जो कुछ भी तुम मुझसे चाहते हो इसे मुझसे जुन कुरा पनि तिमारो मोसिंग चाहन्छौ म पूरा गर्छु हालेलुया सो आई विल टेल आस गॉड टेल गॉड परमेश्वर ला बन्नोस परमेश्वर ला बन्नोस मेरो चाहना मो परमेश्वर ला बने कुसु आई आई आस गॉड आई आस व्हाट आई वांट बिकॉज़ बाइबल सेस वो एनीथिंग यू वांट एनीथिंग योर डिजायर यू वांट फ्रॉम मी आई विल डू जे पनी तबा बाइबल ले क्लियरली यानी रा बनी रखे कोसा इट्स क्लियरली सेस एनीथिंग not from your, your your family, not from your children. Many people desire for from their children that the children will earn and they will take care of them. Many children are depend on the family. The, the mom and dad, they thought the mom and dad will fulfill their desire. No. We women, we are failed. We cannot fulfill all the desire. Lekin hamro parmesar, the God which is with us, the hand which is above us, the God who is taking care of our life, the God who is always with us, He Himself is saying, He said anything you desire from me, I will do it. Hallelujah. He says, I will do it. Amen. What a bannun sa mo pura gursu. So, so just I'm excited this morning. I, I told you when I wake up, I excited when I was praying, reading the word. I, I wake up every day uh, around five, like uh, before five, I, I wake up and I start my prayer from the five o'clock. Mo harik din biyane utera paas baje dekin ya saar paitalis dekin koi time ami prathna suru gursa. We start praying. I start praying. So when I was praying, walking and praying. God told us, look, my, fix my eyes in this scripture. Wale, yo, yo jagama, mero aankhala lagao nu bayo. And in this last line, say, anything you desire from me, I will do it. Hallelujah. What a wonderful God we have. When you read the book of Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, what the Bible says here, book of Matthew 7, 7, it says, ask and I will give you. He said, ask and I will give you. So that's the promise. Don't say, Paul, Mr. Ko, Hami Arab Nagar, so, Wale Bansa, Mo Singa Manga, Ramo Dinsu. Amen. Hallelujah. So ask God. Because God, which is, which is with us, is faithful. He's faithful. He's faithful. He take care of us. Amen. He always bless our life. He always take care of us. And he says, ask and it shall be given to you. So we should ask from whom? Who is the man 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 who
नडराओ म तिमार को साथ में छु यताउता नहेर म तिमार को परमेश्वर हो म तिमारलाई शक्ति दिन्छु र मेरो दाहिने हातले तिमारलाई सम्हालेर राख्छु सो दैट्स द प्रोमिस हामीलाई वहासिंग मान्नु पर्छ हामी उहाँको सन्तान हो जसरी मेरो छोरा मेरो मेरो दुईटा छोरा छ सधैं म आएर मलाई मान्छ बिकज दैट्स देयर व्हाट यू कॉल अ त्यो चाहिँ उनीहरुको अधिकार हो इनहरु सानो छ अहिले व्हाटएभर दे नीड कोटा में के खानों मन लागे चिप्स खानों मन लागे कोटा में आ आ के कुरा खानों मन लागे पापा किंदे हो बंजा या इधर नीट क्लोथ पापा किंदे हो बंजा बिकॉज़ दे डोंट दे दे ऑन नाउ दे आर दे आर स्मॉल उन आरु शैनो सा सो जेपने उन आर को खाचो सा उन आरु हमरो ना हो सा अन्य बंजा एमएल हमी ले बंजा तीसरी हमी पनी हमरे बुआ ले मांगने पर सा वी नो द बाइबल वी नो द प्रॉमिस ऑफ गॉड वी नो द गॉड्स हैंड इस अबो पर्स वी नो द गॉड इस ऑलवेज विथ अस सो हम लोगों को हर समय परमेश्वर से मांगना है जिस तरह से हमारा बच्चे लोग हमसे मांगते हैं और हम देते भी हैं हमें दिन सों पनी जिनसे राम रोकूरा हो हमें दिन सों बैड थिंग वी डोंट गिव लिसन वेरी केयरफुली बैड थिंग वी डोंट गिव अगर मेरे नानी और आये रा जिनसे खाने उन्हर को आ उन्हर को लागी है ना उत्तीर्ण कुरा मांगे बनी हमें दीजे ना इन सेम वे गॉड सेस व्हाट एवर यू डिजायर फ्रॉम मी आई विल डू इट इट डजन मीन दैट यू हैव टू आस द रॉंग थिंग यू हैव टू आस व्हाट यू नीड जब हम इतने मांसों परमेश्वर ले पूरा करना होना चाहिए। You don't have to ask like a selfish desire. God's hand is above us and His promises, and He said anything you desire from me, I will do it. So He do. It doesn't mean that you have to ask the wrong thing. मेरो नानी मेरो दुई तो छोरा अगर आये रा गलत कुरा मोसिंगा मागे बने मलाई यो चाइन्सर उल्लेख तो कर दे सकते हो मलाई किंदे हो भले बने मो किंदी दी ना मो I will not give why because I know that's not good for him this thing is like the same thing God also knows what is best what is good for us so ask what you need amen so that's the promise so the hand which is above us is powerful that's what the bible says ask it says anything you desire from me mark it down that's line it says from me i will do it for me so singa hamro desire hamro chahana mangnu parcha because he is always with us हमरो परमेश्वर उन्होंने सा वह हमरो खाचो वाला पूरा करने उन्होंने सा so you don't have to discourage my friend because the God which is above us the God which is with us is powerful he always blesses people he loves to bless he loves to bless his people he bless me he bless you he bless the the from the early churches he bless the old testament people new testament people because he's yesterday today and forever he's same God he never changes. He never changes. He never changes. He's never changed. And you Sunday still buy buy me or come up and you put on us. Take this the message of hope, the message of encouragement, the message of life to the person who don't know that they have hope, who don't know that there is a person. There is a God who loves them also. There is a God who always bless them also. So we have to take this responsibility and we have to reach out to those people also. So I encourage all of you just share this message. If you are blessed, share this message. So the Bible clearly says, anything you desire from me, I will do it. I want to share one story from the Bible. I will there is no, no time to read all the scriptures but I, I just want to share like the, the the Bible says when you read the book of Mark chapter 10 the Bible says from the uh, the story you will find the, the story of Bertimai but the Bertimus the Bible says is the blind man he was a blind man and he was a beggar 
every day sitting in the roadside asking the the the, the money asking the the, the 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 money or asking the food from the people the bible says one day he heard that jesus is passing through he cry out just read when you will have your time we don't have time to read all the scriptures but you can go in, in, in your like after after the masses you can just turn that the verses and just read the bible clearly says and he shouted the bible says people call him people say shut your mouth don't shout dude you don't know that the son of god is passing by people shouting but the bible says he shout more he shout more he was saying son of david have mercy on me son of david have mercy on me and jesus told to his disciple call that man and when he came what the bible says the mark chapter 10 verse 51 he says here, what do you want me to do for you, Jesus asked. Hallelujah. He always asks his children. Amen. He says here, what do you want me to do for you, Jesus asked him. Today, this morning, Jesus is asking you, tell me, what shall I do for you? Hallelujah. My father is asking. My father is asking me, tell Samuel. What shall I do for you today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is asking, Bunu, tell me, what shall I do for you? God is asking Milan, tell me, what shall I do for you? God is asking Rina, tell me, what shall I do for you? God is asking the, the, the people who are joining me. God is asking, tell me, what shall I do for you? Hallelujah. He is asking our God, the Father who loves his children. He is asking you, tell me, what shall I do for you? Hallelujah. I am excited to know that my Father, my God, the hand which is above me, is asking me today to tell Samuel, what shall I do for you? I am excited. I am excited. God is asking Jeremiah, tell what shall I do for you? God is asking C.B. Joel, the pastor, what shall I do for you? God is asking, Paru, tell me, what shall I do for you? Hallelujah. God is asking, Bishaka, tell me what shall I do for you? God is asking, the brother also Taman, what shall I do for you? God is asking Pastor Matthias, tell me, what shall I do for you? God is asking Deborah, what shall I do for you? God is asking Sister Manju, tell me, what shall I do for you? God is asking Brother Anil, tell me, what shall I do for you? God is asking Deepika, tell me, what shall I do for you? God is asking the Rebecca what shall I do for you? God is asking. Kharka Guru, tell me today, what shall I do for you? When God asks that blind man, tell me what shall I do for you? What the Bible says here, God is asking Philip, tell me what shall I do for you? God is asking Dilbadura, tell me what shall I do for you? When God asks Bertimai, what he says? The Bible says boldly he says he didn't feel shy. He was not afraid. But what he says? He says the blind man says, Rabbi, I want to see. Hallelujah. He was not hesitate to ask. He know that whom he is asking. Hallelujah. You don't have to ask. Oh, sorry, you don't have to like the hesitate to ask your father. You don't have to hesitate to ask your God who is always with you, who is taking care of your life, who is taking, who is bothered for yourself. Oh, he is kindy God. He is powerful God. He, we have to know that whom we are asking. Hallelujah. As we saw in the beginning, he says, anything you desire, from me i will do it hallelujah what a powerful god we have what a wonderful promise we have hallelujah as god asked bertina the bible says he did not hesitate to ask because he know whom he is asking he's not asking from people he's not asking from any other person he know he's asking 
with the God who is love us, who is faithful, who is the creator of this world. So I'm telling you, we don't have to hesitate to ask the Father who is always with us, who is telling us, fear not, I am with you. Don't look here and there. I am your God and I will strengthen you and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So whatever you need today from God, ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him if you need healing. Say, Lord, I need healing. I need physical healing. I need physical healing. Specifically things ask. As the birthday man said, Lord, I want to see. I want to see. I want to see. That was the specifically things he asked from God. His promises says, Anything you desire from me, I will do it. Hallelujah. What a wonderful God we have. If you need money, ask God. Lord, I need money. If you want to see the business is improving, ask God. Lord, I want to see my business improving. If you want your job, your salary, your things will increase, ask God. Say, Lord, I want my salary to be increased. If you want your marriage life to be okay, ask God, say, Lord, I want my marriage relationship to be strong, stronger. If you want your family to be saved, your mom and dad or your brother or sister want uh, you want to be saved, ask God, say, Lord, I want my family member, I want my brother, I want my sister, I want my dad or I want my mom to be saved and come to the Lord Jesus Christ or I want my friends to be saved. Whatever you ask, God is ready. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need more of Jesus. Ask God. Say, Lord, I need more of you in my life. Amen. Hallelujah. God is faithful. God is faithful. God is faithful. God is faithful. The Bible says, the birth must boldly says. He says, Lord, I want to see and what God says what God says just turn if you have your Bible I says is the zebra son so so just what the Bible says here the Bible says 52 go Jesus says your faith has healed you immediately he received his sign and followed Jesus along the road hallelujah he says immediately he says, your faith made you whole. Your faith heal you. And the Bible says, immediately he start to see. He start to see immediately. Today, I am happy. Because I know that my God is asking me today. Tell Samuel, tell my son, what shall I do for you? He says, anything you desire from me, I will do it. I'm happy to know that. I'm happy. I'm blessed to know that, my friend. I am blessed to know this morning. I'm blessed to start by start my day by knowing that my God, my Father, who is with me, asking me, Tell me, what shall I do for you? What shall I do for you? I tell him, I like Bartimaeus, I tell him. And he says, your faith made you whole. Hallelujah. He said, I will do it. God, so when he says, I will do it, means seal it. He's done. When he says, I will do it, he says, I will do it. He says, Esma kune doubt saina kune sanka saina wa so pratisat gosa because he is faithful God. He is faithful. He is faithful. He is faithful to fulfill his promises. He is faithful to do what he has said. And he is asking you today tell my son, tell my daughter, tell everyone who is watching me live. He is asking you tell me what shall I do for you. Now I will tell you my friend don't hesitate 
to ask him because you should know whom you are asking he is the god alpha and omega he is the god the beginning and end he is the god never change he is the god of this world he is the god of our life he is the father he is not a liar he is a righteous god he is a righteous god that's why the bible says in the last part of the isaiah 41 verse 10 he says i will uphold you with my righteous right hand he is righteous he is righteous his promises are yes and amen hallelujah before i leave this place i want to pray for you Molamo samalinu sadina as i always say the 7 to 7 30 so it's almost 7 30 now so i will just encourage you my friends as jesus is saying today Junse Parmeshwar ko haat hamra mati cha te sadran hai na It's not the simple God And He told you and me Anything you desire from me I will do it He asked Bartimas Tell me what shall I do for you And Bartimas boldly says The specific things what he need He says I want to see Specifically things today Ask what you need for today Don't ask for tomorrow Ask for today what you need today. Ask and believe and it will be yours, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So before I leave this place, I want to pray for you and I want to pray with you. And I also I want to say, tell you, if you are blessed, then don't hesitate to share this message. So the people who don't have hope, the people who think they are alone, people who think they, 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 nobody is there to love them, so this message can reach to those places also, those people also, and they also can bless and come to know the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you, if you have any prayer requests, send us. We love to pray for you, me, my team, and my church people. We are every day praying from morning 5 till evening 6 o'clock. And we are praying like every one one hour all my church people team member we pray one one hour it's just kind of chain prayer from morning five till the evening six we pray every day and the 6 30 at the church we come together we worship god we share the word and we pray together so we love to pray for all of you if you have any kind of prayer request you can sms me or you can call me or you can send to any of my like this the, the the team or the people we love to pray for all of you hallelujah and if you have any prayer request right now